In this exercise, we're going to focus on working with grills and air devices inside PractiCAD. The first thing we must do is open up our PractiCAD exercise template. Once you've done that, we're now needing to go into our architectural bin and select a grill. The one we're going to use here to start is going to be Supply Grill. We can go over to the parameter box and right here, if you don't already have an airflow, let's give it a CFM of 200 and a model number ABC-123. We're going to say location room 1. And here you can also give it any special instructions and you can also associate any accessories you have created for this grill as well. For right now, we're just going to type in the airflow model number and location. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to place the grill on the drawing first. And let's explain why. Inside PractiCAD currently, the hold positions we have are top, center, and bottom. Which means that when we go to look at our crosshairs, you can see that our crosshairs are actually holding the center of this grill. There are two ways to hold this grill by the corner. Either A, we can place it on the drawing first and copy it, which I believe is the preferred method. Or we could use our DX, DY, and DZ offset keys. For example, we know that the grill is 24 inches in face, so if we actually said offset X12 tab Y12, which is half the distance, you can see I'm now holding the corner point. And there are tutorials on the DX, DY, DZ. But what we're going to do is focus on what I believe is the easiest way to place down grills. I'm going to reset this actual elevation DX, DY, DZ feature to zero and what we're now going to do is we're just going to place this down on the drawing at the height we want to place it so what we're going to do is say let's put the bottom of this grill at 10 foot bottom and hit enter then place it on your drawing I click once it's asking for a rotation I click again and now it's placed Once you've got one on the drawing, click on it. You'll notice that PractiCAD is providing you with corner nodes of which we can move and copy this grill. But one thing we must be very careful to do is we are going to take this grill and we're going to snap it to the background that was given to us by the engineer. And this background happens to have an elevation of zero, zero. You'll notice if you click on your grill that the elevation should be bottom 10 foot. So if we don't use our replace Z option, and there's tutorials on replace Z, we're going to move and snap this to the background, and it's going to negate the elevation of 10 foot we have. So what we want to do is go into your automatic bin, and click your replace Z on automatic. If you're using AutoCAD MEP, you should have an icon for Z on in the bottom right hand side of your screen about where my cursor is now. But in this exercise, we're going to click Z on. Once you do it, make sure it should say in your command line, enter new value for O snap Z, 0, 01. That means that we've got replace Z on. This means that no matter where we copy this grill right now, PractiCAD or AutoCAD are not going to change the elevation. So what we want to do is we want to copy this grill and paste it in all the different locations that it matches. Now what we want to do is make sure that you copy both the grill and the tag. If you don't do that, the tag you copy later will not be associated to the grill. And we can go over how you can make that mistake, but the proper procedure is always to copy the grill and the tag at the same time. And now let's use an AutoCAD copy command. My copy command is in the quick ribbon I've created. Uh, yours could be under your standard home ribbon. 
and you should have a move and a copy command right here. So we can use copy. Once we hit copy, AutoCAD is going to say specify base point or displacement. And we're going to pick the corner or the node we want to hold this by. And now we can use any point we want. And we're going to pick the corner because we're going to snap this corner to corner. So we're going to pick the corner, click once. Now we've got this entity held by the corner. And now all we need to do is click on every specific corner that we want to place the grill. So what I'm doing is I'm going to place it on these six spots. Once we've done, we can hit escape and then we're going to delete this grill. So you should currently have six grills that are on your drawing. And if you click on any one of these grills and go to the elevation box, it still should say bottom at 10 foot. That's an indicator that you did it correct. You should also have the tags. Now, if you decide that you'd like to edit your grills later, all you need to do is click on the grill, right click and go to AutoCAD properties, or you can just double click on the grill, as we'll do here. And your AutoCAD property box should open. And you can make any changes you want right here. For example, if we say that the neck diameter should be 16 and type it in, you'll see that the neck diameter has changed. You can also globally edit grills. What I mean is, since your grills are the same entity, you can actually edit more of them than one at a time. For example, click on one grill and then select a second grill. Then open up your AutoCAD property box and type in neck diameter 16 and hit enter. And you'll notice that PractiCAD will let you do this because they're the same entity. So now PractiCAD's edited both and your tag should update your tags might be different than the one on this tutorial, but your tag should always update to your change. So that's how to edit the grills. Now that'll conclude the tutorial on placing down grills. There's one more exercise that shows you how to move the elevation of grills all at once. There's a section on property automatics that allows for this. Please take a look at that exercise as well.